you can create this cool thumbnail effect in Photoshop easily with any portrait photo that you like. Only thing that you need to do is to apply this cool trick that I will teach you today and you can create this method either using your mouse or your pen and a tablet like I'm doing. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. First we need to extract the subject out of the background. I will use quick selection tool then select subject, make a selection, just create a mask and you're done. This selection doesn't need to be perfect, you will see why. Then I will create a new layer by holding control or command to create below the current one and then by pressing D on a keyboard make sure that these are default colors I will press alt or option on Mac and backspace to fill the background with the black now we need to apply this cool effect that will change everything so let's go and create a new layer at the top and again fill it with the black shift and backspace create another empty layer and then create a gradient map adjustment layer maybe you're familiar with this technique I showed you that a few years ago uh, the tutorial is called how to create magic trail effect in Photoshop and this is exactly the same method so I will go and make sure that my left color here is black and my right color here is white I will create two more colors in between just by clicking and then I will change this into the darker orange tone like that and this one I will change into really nice bright yellow tone like this Okay, for now this is cool and now we will select all three layers by pressing shift and just select it, control G to create a group and just put the group into screen blending mode. We are prepared. So basically you can paint on a black layer too but I like to have a layer in between just in case I mess something up I can easily erase. Okay, so now if you are using pen with a tablet you just need to go here with the brush tool, press B on a keyboard and you can leave your opacity and flow to 100% because you will right click and choose soft round pressure opacity brush and now with the white color press X to swipe to the white you can really easily create this kind of effect with your pressure in case you're using mouse then the settings are different you can go with the flow around 50% experiment and just use this this is the effect that we want to achieve you don't need anything else so depends if you're using mouse or the pen because I'm using pen with a pressure sensitivity I can do however I want but the idea is now to go and create this outline effect around the subject I will fast forward this because this is just making the outline around all right this is it and now you see why you don't need to have a perfect selection because this outline will cover every imperfections all right now I will create a smaller brush and just add few strokes like this here and there like hair strokes okay and also here however you want just make few few of these I will also fast forward this like that and then we can erase this I like to use black color and just erase unnecessary parts just a little bit these will be highlights from the rim light and this is already cool effect okay now a bonus tip we can leave it like this if you're satisfied with the result you can merge these two layers together by selecting them and press ctrl e all right and now convert it into a smart object why well because now we will apply filter we will go to stylize and we will go to oil paint oil paint and you already see how this looks so this is before this is after it's adding this really cool smudge tool effect like you use the smudge tool and just smudge it out so this is it before and after and make sure to have all these settings you don't need to go all the way to the right but maybe depends of the effect you want to achieve try experiment for me this works pretty good I like this one the first one to go all the way to the right and also this one but these ones you can play depends on the image size all right and don't use lighting this is completely different effect press ok and now if you apply this filter one more time just a bonus tip you can have even more emphasized effect if that's what you like you can achieve it now because we have this on a smart filter we can always either hide it so this is one this is another one or we can go into one of these and change the effects all right now we will do the same for the background so the background trick is I like to make a copy of this group control or command J move it all the way down below the subject 
Okay, this is background. And I will get rid of this layer because I don't need it and create another new layer below it and fill it with the black. And now I will go right there, make a bigger brush, really bigger brush like this. Make sure that you're using soft brush. The hardness should be set to zero. All right. And then just with the white, just click a few times like this. Wow, we already have this really, really cool effect. Okay, maybe one more time in the middle here. And we can always tweak this. This is cool. We can always go and press Control Command T, make it wider. Uh, whatever you want to do with this, you can do it, erase it, make it a uh, different color or whatever. So this is it. All right, now what we need to do is to add a little bit more spice, create a new layer, put it above everything and name it Glow. And I will put this layer you already know into linear dodge blending mode and just by using some darker tone and smaller brush, I can just paint a glow over the top here. A little bit, just to spice it a little bit more. Don't worry if you're going over the background because you have a layer mask and you will use it. So we will use this layer mask in a moment. A little bit here, a little bit here and uh, just use this layer mask with the alt or option key just drag and drop it there and this is it also if you don't like something like here for example you can use black and just erase it also let's do this later but now i will just add a little bit more glow here to the face and here also on these parts wherever we painted this rim light Maybe here, a little bit here. Okay, one more tip is that you can always go here to this uh, main image and do some dodging and burning and change whatever you want to this image only so by clipping the adjustment layer to this layer. And you can do some dodging and burning whatever you want. I will now just make this a little bit brighter, invert the mask and with really nice small brush, I will just with the white, I will just add some brightness here and tweak this image a little bit brighter eyes maybe just a little bit of retouching not too much like that maybe a little bit here on the lips okay let's see not bad also maybe here a bit and also here and we can create another layer, another curse layer and make it darker. Put this one into luminosity blending mode, invert the mask. And again, with the white, you can just low opacity brush, add really nice, cool contrast. Maybe here to emphasize the eyes a little bit. So this is before, this is after. You can do any kind of retouching that you like for the subject. You can do that before, you can do that after. It's non-destructive, you have everything in layers. This is cool. Now we can add different elements to the thumbnail like text and maybe some logos and maybe some bokeh in the background, whatever you want. The basic technique is done. You can spice it however you want and this is the final result. Let me know down there in the comments how do you like this tutorial. And if you want to learn how to create cinematic fantasy photo manipulation, check out this video. See you there. Bye bye.